Hi, it's me again, Chris at uh, SRQ Fishing Oasis. Um, another question that I get a lot, um, a big problem, um, not only with Shimano reels, but I mostly work on Shimano reels. Um, I get more of those in than anything else. Um, is this this line roller bearing? It it'll uh, it'll freeze up and it'll get really noisy on just about every Shimano reel I've seen. That's kind of a I wouldn't say it's a flaw, but just consistent salt water use, um, it really affects this line roller bearing. And uh, it's really easy to maintain. Um, if, if you can take it apart, I'd say once a month and just kind of lube it best you can. Um, first thing you do, this is a Shimano Spheros. It's a brand new reel. It, it really doesn't need to be worked on, but uh, it, it's good for demonstration. Um, there's a screw on the front of the bale right here, um, and you just want to take it out. It's all good. Once you get it out, just go ahead and pull that screw out and then hold on to the actual line roller and uh, pull everything out. I think I just little pieces dealt in there. And Different Shimano reels, I mean different other reels, their design's a little bit different on the line rollers, but they're pretty pretty much all the same. Um, you just want to kind of take that off, just kind of remember there's only about four or five parts in here, just kind of remember where stuff was um, when you took it out, but the actual bearing, the part that makes it noisy is actually in this little, little sheath right here and uh, what I do I don't even usually take it out of the sheath um, I usually just take take some inox some MX4 or you can use MX3 too I just take it and spray the the roller bearing on both sides and get a good penetration in there and uh, just kind of roll it a little bit and then I mean if you may need to get like a little paper towel or something and uh, and clean out some dirt or something if there's any dirt in the inside the reel you don't want that because it'll it'll make noise too um, but then you just you just put everything back I mean that's the best way to do it um, you don't have to use inox you can just use like a three-in-one oil um, some, something like this I mean you can get this at a Home Depot or Lowe's it's like four bucks something like that um, I just like the inox because it's it's got the extra corrosion protector in it um, and just I would, like I said, I, if you're using it in salt water, I would do this at least once a month just, just to make sure you don't get any salt uh, penetration in that bearing because you don't want it to freeze up because you'll have to replace it. Um, and I do those all the time and it costs cost people 10 to $15 every time they have to be replaced. If you keep up with it, you won't have to worry about that. Um, have any other problems? Bring it in at Syracuse Fishing Oasis.
Um, and we'll get you fixed up. Thank you.